All right, YouTube, Edward Tindall here. Um, we are pulling the $30,000 egg sack. Um, and all proceeds from this egg sack will be going to the well-being of my wife. And uh, cord cost, cord fees, and everything else. And I am went ahead and bred every spider that I own. So uh, we do have spiders for sale. And every amount of money will be used to fight for my wife and my son. So anybody that buys a spider from me is helping fight the cause for the woman and kid and man that y'all have loved for the last six years. And I have something very interesting to say about this one in particular right here. This extremely rare creature has taken the sack full term. She is such a great mother. She reminds me of my Sarah. She has catered and cared for her babies this whole time. And she has just tore the sack open. I watched her tear it open off camera and babies crawling out. So this is the first on my channel that <clears throat> I let them go full term. But it is what it is. So I'm going to move this. I'm going to set this up. My brother's in here helping me. Um, Jesse Tyndall getting uh, containers set up for them. I'm going to set this here. We're going to pull this sack very carefully. And don't die. Don't die. Don't get bit. It will not feel fun. <clears throat> she won't kill me, but she'll think she's killing me. <laughs> okay, we gotta lower this down. <clears throat> gotta lower this down so people can see. Sorry, people bear with me a minute. I see how I'm about to do this. So, where do I just set I'm putting the sack at? Um, in that bed, another right? container, maybe that one right there, so I can get through them. All right, this is going to really <clears throat> highly piss her off to no end. This is how uh, Sarah gets when somebody takes her kid away. To our fixing the witness here, <laughs> if she don't grab it and jerk it into the thing, so that's gonna be bad. I'm going to have to bust this web, which I don't like doing. Oh, shit. Just don't want to. I don't want to hurt nothing or no one. Oh, she's taking it. Don't take it. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go, girl. Let go, girl. I got it. I got it. Ooh, it's full. Oh my god. It's pulsing. <laughs> oh my god. No. She is pissed. How many more is in there? I don't know. Do you want to close it and let's get to them and then we can get whatever's left in there? I want to feed her something. There's babies running around in there. Can she move still? Yeah. All right, she's really mad. She's really upset, people. <clears throat> My poor baby girl. I hate doing her that way, but um, anything can happen. She could eat them or whatever. Not cool anyway, anyhow. So I'm going to move her over here for a minute so I can further cater to her and her little young. Here we go. Put this where y'all can actually see something now. Up close and personal. Up close and personal. <clears throat> These are not third end star, but they're pretty damn close. Let me see if I can go any lower. I can't go down lower, but I can zoom in a little bit. Let me zoom in a little bit. This sack is very light. I don't know how many I got and how many's already got out, but you can obviously see some are out. I do this thing, people. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and transfer this first one right here. A lot of people don't transfer them like this until they're third in store, but I don't have my incubator set up or nothing. So hopefully they'll be able to shed out and everything properly in here. 
You got the right if not, then I just don't know. You got the right humidity and the right uh, the right uh, ambient temperature. So yeah, if everything's uh, correct, all conditions are met, everything should be fine. Oh my! Oh no no no! <laughs> holy, holy! Hallelujah! Well, I was, I was, I stand corrected. Probably forty thousand dollars sec. Well, well, the gods have shown down on top of me, my friends. Um. Yep. And now everybody that's been wanting this extremely rare species for years and years can have it. And I've got ten more egg sacs lined up right behind this, so uh, I think uh, they're like. Probably 120, 120 to 150 thousand dollars to uh, fight for my wife and kid. We can tie that up in the courts until we're all dead, I guess. If they have to go that far, because I've never been about money, I'm about my family. So I used to breed for fun and for friends and fans, and now I'm just breeding and producing to protect my family, which is uh, it's a blessing. It it pays off in the end. Uh, no regrets. My uh, animals get to, I take care of animals all my life, and now my animals get to take care of me and my family. That's that's amazing. So, y'all know that these are almost ready. They're second in store. When they molt out this next time, they're going to be little baby fasciatas. <laughs> <laughs> well, we need some good news in these hard times, my brother. I don't know how many we got. We will give y'all a final countdown there at some point. I like having this where it's just like a little cotton ball. Look at that. Yeah, getting one out of it. What do you think? Look how many's in there? Yeah, they're in there. Um, I don't know how many. Good mom. A few hundred, anyway. And these are very special spiders because Sarah and me are the ones who paired this, and then she ate the male. Me and Sarah paired this before her stroke, and then she. And she put uh she had her stroke so this is so cool how this is working out <coughs> hate pulling a sack from my beautiful baby girl up there but is what it is I actually could transfer these into that other thing until they're third in store. Whatever you want. Where is it? Do you have a coffee filter? Yeah, in that thing over there. Behind there. The shelf over there? Yeah, over here. Over here in that drawer thing. One of those drawers. Yeah, I'll put a couple of them in here and put them in the coffee filter just to see. But they're ready. They're moving around. They're not ready to eat yet. And these are going to be big babies. Somewhere right there. Oh, everything's right in the way. Yep, um, construction was held up on my new facility because of haters, but uh, this the money I'll be generating off of all this stuff will be uh, fixing that. Um, everything works out. In the wash. Higher power definitely has plans for me and Sarah and Mikey and my family and I mean, we got to make our lucky stars change, people. I roll with the punches and roll with the punches until I get a punch. Here's my punch. One of many. <laughs> now, how many times <laughs> you get knocked down, that's how many times you get up, right? Yeah, it's like my song, I get knocked down, but I get up again, you're never going to keep me down. I get knocked down. All right, my baby. Oh, baby. Oh. Um. You got water on all these, right? Every one. Hold on. Right. This one won't go down. Oh, shit. We can put them in there, like you said. <coughs> and then all the ones that are already a little bit older, we can grab it. Now. I love the fact that these don't have hair. <clears throat> Hair kicking. Um, that that water's in there. I'm gonna. We got a lid for this too. 
We're going to have to have a holy lid somewhere. A holy lid. There should be <laughs> one with cotton on top of it somewhere around here. Maybe over there. What is that on top of that one? I'm not sure. That might be the one. There is if one. It is the one. Yeah. It's got cotton on it. Here, let me see that lid. This is not how you do it, what y'all you, what are seeing right here. This is just what I'm doing because, hold on, don't hurt yourself, bro. We got to get some more room, people. <clears throat> what I intend on doing now is opening this up. Yeah, I'm going to open this up, and then we'll put the coffee filter in there so everybody can see what exactly that. it entails. Oh, damn. Like that. Yep. Save that dying thing, whatever fell. There's dirt everywhere. I need a different lid. Give me that clear lid. Oh, it's a can of dirt. Yeah, give me that clear lid, will you? Yeah. I'll trade you because. What's in there? A spider. Oh, be vegans. Yeah, this is the kind of lid that. No, this one ain't gonna work. It's got mold on it. Damn it. Mold on the top of a small lid. On a small, on a vegans, a bigger vegans ain't gonna hurt him very much. But on a baby spider, this ha has to be, has to be contaminant free. It's all right. I'll find uh, something. That's the problem with cloth lids and humidity and moisture. You gotta watch them. I don't know what happened. Um, no chemicals can be introduced either. Not none. You don't drink any kind of droplet. You know what, I might just put another filter over top of it. I might just, that's what I'll do. I'll just put another coffee filter on top of it. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to set this here. We're going to open this Actually, sack fully. Yeah. going to fully open this sack. We're going to put them in here and see what we got. Yeah, I see some dead eggs. That's unfortunate. Oh, it's not even on the damn. Sorry, people. I want y'all to be able to see what's going on. She might have killed someone when I was pulling it. Is that what? Oh, they already shed it out. Yeah. They shed about 20 times before. I'm going to leave that sack right there. Like so. Y'all see that? <coughs> Y'all can see that, right? Yeah, these spiders grow extremely fast. And uh, they are extremely valuable. I've seen adult adult females sell them for $1,000 a pop. And you can get one to adulthood in as little as six months if you feed them a lot and you have their all their uh, proper temps and humidity and stuff ready um what do you think that's the only thing i can think is take that out i see no third in stars oh but they look healthy enough to move ain't they they probably are they're not, yeah they're really <clears throat> size I, i'm sure there's a plenty of humidity in these containers they hit they won't be eaten now because they will not eat each other not until they get third in store. There's another egg. Look at that egg. Mm -hmm. it didn't get to hatch. And just not fertile, or it's fertile for a little bit, and just didn't get to hatch. You think it'd be safe to leave this in there? I think it will. Mm -hmm. We'll probably wait for three days, and they'll be ready. They'll molt out, and maybe, maybe we'll transfer some more of them. Oh. This thing's kinking up. That's not good. Where are you going, bro? This is absolutely amazing, people. I don't know exactly how many is in there, but there's a lot. I'm going to leave this like this for right now. <clears throat> a couple of days anyway. When these are third in stars, they'll be available to you guys. 
I'm not selling them all. <coughs> and also, something uh, Sarah started a long time ago every time we have a blessing. And the reason we're blessed so much, I do believe, is because we do give freebies out of every egg sack we produce. I don't care if it's a $5 spider or a $10,000 spider. Out of every sack I produce, I will be giving some freebies out to some people. So, uh, I'll be, uh, be ready for spoiling. Where's the coffee for her? Right there, yeah. I'm going to try to coffee filter on top of this. If you want, I can cut a lid. Cut a lid like that, and you can put a lid right over the coffee filter like that. I'll try to push this in here like that. Again. It's not the right way to do things, people. It's the only option I have right now. So. It won't work. <laughs> I do believe. Yeah, it's held it. <clears throat> but nothing that I do is like anything that anybody else does. But as y'all can see, the results are always the same. I always produce. I am a producer. Most of the people in the world that I see that are not on the same page as me as a, as a uh, consumer. I try to produce more than I consume. Um, like, I was absolutely sickened by the uh, 2020 uh, toilet paper pandemic. Everybody runs and getting toilet paper and I'm, uh, I'm producing more chickens and more food and more stuff and making sure I got water and uh, having a plan, an actual plan. What they don't realize is they get all that toilet paper, they're not going to be able to uh, to uh, eat, eat anything because they won't have no money. But their mindset is because they live in cities. I've been thinking this over. They just live in cities. And the only thing they can think in their mind is they work nine to five jobs. They eat fast foods. And the only thing they produce at home is shit. So they need toilet paper. They didn't actually think about the fact that all the stores would be closed down and everything else and then they'd have to later trade their toilet paper for water and food but uh well that was happening so anyway um be like me be a producer not a consumer and if you're going to consume consume the things that you produce and you'll live a healthier happier life here's to us cheers everyone um i'm very excited about this anyone getting their hands on these should be very excited about this because sarah personally had her hands in the breeding of this and everything so this is our last egg sack that we produced as a team and maybe the last egg sack we ever produce as a team I don't know uh, we'll have to see if she regains movement again or not um, I know this is her passion and her love and everything so maybe just maybe love will uh, allow her to have movement and be able to do this stuff again one day stay tuned Edward Tindall out